good day viewers you are welcome how to solve this nice functional equations given that f of x multiplied by f of minus x equals f of x squared minus 1 and we want to find f of x so the condition attached to this is the f of x here is a polynomial with only the real roots we are interested to get only the real root for this f of x and every non-constant polynomial over a real number so is considered as the linear or a quadratic factor so in this case we are going to assume and this is not only assumption so this is like a fundamental theorem of algebra so which says if you have something of this condition so we consider f of x here to be equals a into bracket of x minus r1 open bracket x minus r2 and this is how it keeps going and where this r1 r2 r3 to as many as r that we have they are the root so we call them the real root or the real root to be r and then so for this case as well so we are not considering any complex numbers and uh, there is no any irresistible quadratic factor and all the roots are real so therefore we can just write this as f of x equals so this a is a constant coefficient then we have a then the summation of so we just choose k equals to 1 to n open bracket x minus r so we call this k so this is what we are going to have so consider this as f of x then we have to get f of minus x as well so to get f of minus x so we'll be replacing every single x with minus x and here we have f of minus x equals a then the summation of k equals 1 to n open bracket minus x minus rk and next we are going to have to refactor this to take out negative out and don't forget that this n the k ranges from 1 to n so it affects all these so by factoring out negative we are going to have a into bracket of minus 1 raised to power n then the summation of k equals 1 to n bracket x plus rk so taking out negative so all this becomes positive and this is for f of minus x so let's try and uh, multiply this together for f of x and uh, f of minus x multiplying this together we are going to have f of x multiplied by f of minus x equals for f of x we have it as a summation k equals to 1 to n bracket x minus rk then multiply by a into bracket of minus 1 raised to the power of n then this is multiplying the summation of because of space so let me bracket this and uh, another bracket that is a into bracket of minus 1 raised to the power n then the summation of k equals to 1 to n of x plus rk all this in brackets then we have to take out a and the a of minus 1 raised to the power n and we combine the two summations together so this equals a multiplied by a that gives us a squared then open bracket minus 1 raised to the power n a summation of k equals to 1 to n so we multiply x minus rk with x plus rk so after getting this we proceed by evaluating this this is a difference of two squared 
So we have this as a squared into bracket of minus 1 raised to power n. Then the summation from k equals to 1 to n of x times x. This gives us x squared. Then minus k times plus k. We have it as minus r squared then k. So this is what we have for this. Then the next step, we are going to find for f of x squared minus 1 considering the same f of x. For f of x squared minus 1, so this gives us a summation of k equals to 1 to n into bracket of, we are changing every single x to x squared minus 1. And here gives us x squared minus 1, then minus rk. And let's put minus 1 and rk together. So here we have a summation of k equals to 1 to n into bracket of x squared minus. So here we have rk plus 1. So we have to equate this together. For f of x squared minus 1, we equate it with what we got for the product of f of x multiplied by f of x, f of minus x. So equating this, so for what we get initially, we have a squared into bracket of minus 1 raised to the power n. Then we have the summation of k equals to 1 to n into bracket of x minus x squared minus r squared k so this will be equals to f of x squared and that one gives us a the summation of k equals to 1 to n into bracket of k squared minus r k plus 1 so this is what we have for this and what we need here is we have to get the the real root and since we have chosen r here to be the real root so we have to equate the only the real root together that is we equate minus r square k with minus open bracket r k plus one so by doing that we have this implies r squared k equals r k plus one to obtain the real root so where k here it means the, the number is continuous. So by taking only r squared, we have r squared minus r minus 1 equals 0. So this is a quadratic. And uh, we solve this quadratically by considering the quadratic formula. We have here as a equals 1 and b here equals minus 1 with c equals minus 1. Using the quadratic formula, we have to find r equals minus b that is minus minus one we have it as plus one plus or minus the square root of minus b squared uh b squared that is minus one square we have one minus four ac and c a is negative multiplied by negative a that is plus then b four ac that is four times one multiplied by one we have it as four all divided by two and this gives us one plus or minus the square root of five divided by 2 and with these two we have r here equals 1 plus root 5 over 2 and 1 plus root 5 over 2 is a golden ratio then we have uh, this is r1 this is r2 1 minus r2 1 minus root 5 over 2 so it's an inverse of it so we call this minus 1 over 5 so since we have gotten these two expressions, so we have to make this one general at this point. So in the general way of this, we just consider that the P of X here for F of X that we have. So it's given us, we have the constant coefficient, which is A into bracket of then X minus the first one that we get, which is 5. So we put it here, then raised to the power of m. So m and n, they are, m is a member of integer. And also we have x uh, minus, I want to call this one another thing. So let me just call this one this letter. Then we have this as this, raised to the power of n. 
so where this m and n are both members of an integer so here is the general solution for this and this works for all the real numbers m and n also they are greater than or equals zero so this is how i solve this problem step by steps thanks for watching and if you have any ideas on how to solve this to make this better than this so you can just drop it in the comment box see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye